Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm doing another Photoshop tutorial and today is a very interesting one. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this crazy highlighted look. I'm going to try to emulate this photographer, Mar Marcello Cantu. Hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. He's really famous for doing this crazy highlighted look. He is, uh, he's photographed Kylie Jenner and a lot of other celebrities. These images have been very, very popular and I've seen a lot of people confused to how this look is achieved. I know a lot of people have speculated that this is just makeup or some kind of specific type of lighting. Uh, to me, at first glance, this just looks like a lot of post-production with the help of makeup. So when I was looking through his feed, I actually saw this video right here. Uh, which just proves more what I was thinking, that his editing is mostly done with editing and the help of makeup. Uh, last night I was fiddling with some Photoshop and my own pictures and I was able to get this look right here. It was actually really, really easy and most of it is done just with curves, layers. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I got this look. I'm just going to mention again that this is probably not how he edits his work. I'm not trying to say that this is exactly what he's doing or this is the best and only way to get this type of look. This is just simply showing you guys how I would get this type of look on my own images if I wanted to. So Marcello shoots in the studio and from what I can tell, he's mainly using beauty dishes. I can just tell by the reflection in the eyes of the models. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not sure exactly what he's doing and also what I'm doing here is definitely probably not what he is actually doing in his editing. So this picture right here is taken just with natural light, just with the window light and his images look to be a lot darker than mine in particular here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of uh, adjust the tone of the image to look more like the images that he's taken. I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit darker with some curves first. Let's lower just the overall darkness of the picture just like that. I'm also going to go ahead and make this a little bit more desaturated so I can make the image look a little bit more one toned. Uh, let's go into selective color now and I'm going to choose neutrals and kind of play around with that. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and desaturate the image again. And then play with the colors again. To get the picture to look one toned, you just got to fiddle with these a little bit. Okay, let's leave it at this. Now I can go ahead and start on the curves layer to get those highlights really popping. So I'm going to go ahead and get my adjustment layer with curves. And just make sure that you're... I'm going to make this bigger just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing with the curves here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the highlights a little bit lower just to make it a little bit more of the same color. Maybe I'm going to pull up one picture of his. I just pulled up one picture of his and as you can see, the skin tone on its own is pretty flat except for the highlights. So that's what I'm trying to achieve in my image right here. Okay, now let's take this one down. And there's just a lot of kind of fiddling with this. Okay, I'm going to leave this at that. So with this curves layer, as you can see, what we did is that we matted the skin and then we got the highlights to really pop. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. You just kind of have to fiddle around with the curves layer. Oh, 
All right, so now with the second curves layer that I did, I'm actually gonna apply it only to the highlighted spots just to make it more intense. So after I applied that curves layer, I'm gonna go ahead and press Control I to invert it. And then I can pick up my brush and I can draw the highlighter areas only where the highlight is. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on her forehead, right here on the cheekbones on the nose, on the lips, just where we would highlight. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I want to make the rest of the skin even more matte just so that it's more like in this image. Again, I'm just gonna do it with the curves. I'm gonna leave this down. Again, this is just a matter of playing around with curves. Okay, so I'm happy with this. And now again, I wanna leave the highlighted areas really highlighted, so I'm gonna go ahead and invert my mask and only apply this to the areas that I want to. So I'm going to pick up my brush and again start applying it only to the areas that I want to mattify. Alright, so that looks pretty good and you can always play with your opacity to make sure if you add it too much or not enough. And now that that is good, I'm actually going to dodge and burn this even a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead, create a curves layer, make this a lot lighter, and then invert it again, control I, and then I'm going to go ahead and place even more highlight. And I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. <laughs> Control I and layer up another layer of highlight. Because why the heck not? <laughs> Never enough highlight. And you guys, I'm going for extreme here. I'm trying to emulate his image. I obviously wouldn't really do this for my own images, but I know a lot of people are really interested in how he's doing that, so. All right. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then what I also noticed is that in a lot of his pictures, he likes to change the highlight to a different color, just to kind of get the whole image toned the same way. So, you can do this again really easily. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my selective color. Let's make this a little bit smaller here. And I'm gonna choose whites, which are gonna correspond to our highlighted areas. And he has his more kind of orangey gold. I'm gonna go for like a more pink color here. So let's make them more pink. And you can totally do it more yellow like he is doing but I wanted to keep it kind of pink, uh, translucent, fluorescent, whatever. So yeah, you can again play around here with different colors. And also another tip, I always keep it at absolute right here. Uh, he also kind of toned the image more purple. So let's do that. I'm going to do another selective color layer and I'm going to choose my blacks and I'm going to tone them a little bit more purple here. All right, so this is it. This is the finished image.
Uh, as you can see, it's actually pretty easy to achieve this look. If I ask my makeup artist to layer even more highlight, this would be even easier to achieve. So mostly it's just play with editing, a lot of curves layers, a lot of dodge and burn. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see in my next videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!